Welcome back to East Texas Live. Carson, I know you like to run. Is the weather going to uh -huh. let you permit that? Well, maybe in between storms, Frank, because we do have multiple waves of rain on the way. Now, the good news is for your Memorial Day, if you really do need to get outside, you're probably going to be able to do that this afternoon because while I do have rain in the forecast here in the Tyler area, it's not going to rain all the time. Here's the setup. First, we have that complex of showers and thunderstorms that will be providing us with the rain chances a little later on. That's out to our west, and that is with this storm system that's currently located between Amarillo and Lubbock in the Texas Panhandle. So here's what we have going on right now. We're not entirely clear. There are some areas that are seeing a little bit of drizzle. We saw a pretty hefty shower in Tyler not too long ago, but the main bulk of the activity right now is in northwestern Van Zant County near Lake Tewakity to the northeast of Wills Point and also in parts of Rains County, no pun intended, near East Tewakity there as well. But over Henderson County, County, we're starting to see at least a little bit of rain along the Trinity River from Buffalo to Trinidad and also into the Cedar Creek Reservoir area. We're seeing a couple heavy showers. Again, these showers will only last you maybe five minutes, but we could conduct a considerable amount of rain, you know, within five to maybe even 10 minutes of it raining. Now here's noontime forecast. Once again, kind of like what we're seeing right now, it sets up across our western counties. It moves through the area but by five o'clock, most of us are going to have a little break in the rain. It's going to be kind of like what we're seeing right now. Uh, the only difference is it's going to be over our central and eastern counties by that point, and all of us get that break overnight tonight before we get into tomorrow morning when we are tracking our next round of rain again for our western counties. Now, as we head into tomorrow afternoon with that daytime heating in place, we will see more bubble up showers and thunderstorms, and more of us will see the rain than will not see see the rain and it will come in waves as we go into your Wednesday night and eventually another complex of showers and thunderstorms. We're certainly tracking it uh, throughout what your Wednesday morning and even into Wednesday afternoon. So this is going to be a wave by wave basis of rain. Not going to rain all the time, but we will certainly see quite a bit of rain in the area. How much? Well, future cast rain amounts. One of our trusted forecast models has us anywhere from maybe one to three inches and this runs us through through Friday, so it's going to rain today. It's going to rain tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Rain is also in your forecast, so it might not rain every single day in your location, but you're going to want to keep your weather wits about you and make sure you prepare for that possibility. So make sure you have those umbrellas 70s right now. It's 77 in Longview where we haven't seen a lot in the way of rainfall. A little cooler in Tyler where we did see that rain just about an hour ago. It's 72 degrees there. All of us get into the upper 70s and lower 80s. Again, about a 70% coverage of showers and thunderstorms, 68 degrees. That will be your low temperature tonight. And the good news is if we can bring the positive out of this seven day forecast for somebody who doesn't like the rain, look at these temperatures. Not too bad for the last week in May. 70s and 80s across the board. Obviously, we do have rain in the forecast every single day. Not going to be raining nonstop, but certainly the possibility is there with that daytime heating that we do get a few afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Frank. This past weekend marked